Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about Java and switching over to PHP. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, I'm already invest I've already invested my time in learning and creating projects using Java and Spring Boot. I'm already comfortable with Java, but should I learn PHP or consider to switch to PHP frameworks such as Laravel? So the short answer here is that very much depends on what you want to do, dude. If your goal is to do web development, you don't really have to change anything anything at all. So this is it's kind of hard for me to answer this question because I don't, as I said, I don't know what the goal is here. Because like Java and PHP, I mean, if you're doing web development, I mean, Java can do more than PHP can do. That doesn't mean that PHP is bad. It's just that Java is can be used for many, many different things. And PHP is very well designed for web work. So if you're doing web and you know Java and not PHP, and there's no other reason than you want to do web work, well, then there's no point for you to switch over. But then you have to look at also like things say take jobs as an example that's why i can't just give you a straight answer here because if you want to do traditional corporate level development if you want to work in usually very large scale systems at bigger companies things like that and have like uh, the option of doing that well then java is a very good choice because java is very commonly associated with large scale enterprise level development php is not as much there are exceptions everybody knows about facebook hopefully so there and i mean i used to work at the large scale system on a large scale system as well made in php so i mean it's not like it doesn't happen it's just that it's not as common Every single developer that I knew practically on that project had never ever worked. I, it was so rare, and most of them had been working for quite some time in a large scale PHP application before they went in there. So it's not a very common thing. But if we go over to PHP, I mean, if you're working in a region where there's not that many enterprise positions for like Java developers and stuff like that, there might actually be a very good chance that there's a lot of PHP development going on because PHP is very commonly associated with freelance work, agencies and consultancies and smaller scale projects and stuff like that. And PHP is very loved as a language for mid-sized to small scale projects and there are, but as I said there are still large scale systems being built in it it's just not as common so it really depends I mean if if the job thing is a factor for you you need to look at your region where is the money like where is where are the jobs if everything is in PHP well then that seems like a very good choice to switch over everything is in Java well unless you're really interested in PHP, well, then there's not much of a reason to make the switch. So what I want you to take away from this is just that it's impossible for me to say if you should switch from Java to PHP because I don't know the reason why you want to make the switch. If you're looking to do web development, then Java can do the same thing as PHP. You can do web in both of these languages. PHP might be a nicer experience if you will, like for a lot of people really like to work in PHP and a lot of people don't like to work in Java, but hey, there are goofballs that still uh, that really love that as well. So I mean, there's not a clean answer there. There's people on both sides of the fence. If you want to do more, ser like if you want to do desktop applications and like embedded systems or things like that, then Java is definitely the thing to stick with. Or Android development, for example, PHP can't do any of that. So, like uh, that's something to consider in as well. And then finally, look at the job situation. If you want to work in large corporations with really big systems, then Java is usually a very good choice. PHP is generally a good choice for smaller to mid-sized companies, or if you want to do freelancing or stuff like that, then like PHP is a very good uh, good option. But there are, as I said, exceptions. You can do really large-scale systems in PHP as well. It's just not as common. Have a great day.